It's a beautiful day in the villages. This is Dawn. How may I direct your call? Hey, Dawn. This is Rusty Nelson. I was calling about scheduling a lifestyle visit at the villages. Okay. Hold on one second for me. As you may have figured it out, this is my adventure to the villages. I decided to bite the bullet and get down and do what they call a lifestyle visit for a week. And I thought it would be really fun to start documenting this whole trip and everything I do down there. And let me say, first of all, I don't work for the villages. I have nothing to do with the villages. In fact, I fought this about going down there like I fought getting my double ARP card. So um, get ready. Hold on. I have no idea. This could be 20 videos, 100 videos, and it could after end after my trip down there. That's about it. But this is the conversation that I had with a very nice woman uh, named Julie. And she was just the introductory person that schedules a life style visit. And that's what you're going to hear. Now, I'm going to edit it a little bit so it's slightly palatable. It lasted pro well over a half an hour. There is no, this isn't the salesperson, so there's no sales pressure. She's just trying to find out a little bit about you to pass it on to the salesperson. So, so far, the big Benny to this is the fact that there is not any sales pressure right away. And um, let's go ahead and just do it and I'll edit it out and we'll see at the end. I'll let you know in a summary what I learned and we'll press on and hopefully keep following along with us. Here we go. Hi, Rusty. My name is Julie. How may I help you? I was going to try to schedule a, a lifestyle visit. Are you retired yet, Rusty? Yes. Okay. We're and you're in, let's see, Pennsylvania. Are you thinking of relocating from there? Uh, yeah, possibly. I'm kind of taping this, okay. if that's okay, just so I... Got all this okay. down. Okay. On this visit, you'll have a sales representative. The rate is one forty nine a night. That's good for two people, and that rate is good through the end of December. Okay. Let me go out and take a look at availability just to see what we have. And I'm looking. How many nights would you like? You can, as long as four is the minimum. You can stay five nights, six nights, or up to seven. Like you can stay on Monday to Monday. Um, Sunday to Sunday, whatever works. Okay. Well, let's do the fifth there then. There is something on the fifth. Okay, so 11.05 or five nights. Let's do six nights. Six nights? Yeah. And and you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, let's just make it a week. If I have to leave okay. early, I leave early and I bite the bullet. If but you yeah, if you decide to leave early, Rusty, let us know before 11 o'clock in the morning the day that you want to leave, and that way you'll get a refund for that night. Oh, okay. That's great. To know. Okay, then definitely let's... 11 a.m. Yeah, definitely let's do a week then. Okay, so <laughs> Thursday the 5th through Thursday the 12th. And now the total is... Um, 149 and I, 1043 for the week. Okay. Did you want to make the reservation today? Yeah, might, might as well. Okay. I'm sorry, you did say you're retired. Yes. What did you used to do? Uh, flew for the Air Force for a while and then worked in Hollywood also and owned my own company for a while and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> okay. What kind of company? Um, manufacturing, flight manufacturing. with you uh just me right now if somebody wants to come just let us know the name so that we can make an id card for them okay um but we can we can add them at any time is is there different types of places or are they all the same or yeah i'll, I'll go over the, oh. more of the details oh, um, okay. i mainly just wanted to get this home on hold but we're good so you will stay close to the brownwood town square within walking distance uh, shopping, restaurants, entertainment is all right there within, okay. um, within walking distance of where you're staying. Two bedrooms, two baths, fully furnished. It comes with a golf car, two bicycles. Uh, then you'll have someone showing you around. 
do you play golf? Yes, I, I play golf and I play a lot of pickleball. So. Ooh, okay, pickleball is real big down here. Yes, I, I know. <laughs> okay, you'll get two tee times complimentary for golf, either on a championship or executive, or you can split it up however you want. And then we can set you up with some pickleball too while you're here. Like how free is that? In other words, if I'm down there for a week and like I go out and play two rounds of golf myself and then all of a sudden the last day I, I meet somebody there that says, hey, why don't you come play golf with us? Do I have to tell them no or can you oh, sure. purchase a time? You can or? play two times complimentary and then if you want to play after that, you can play on a championship course, the 18 holes. Um, what you do is you call the day of play, you call the country club, and the residents that have priority memberships are going to get first dibs on the tee times. Right. But then the whatever is still available, then you can golf. You'll pay a resident rate um, because you'll have the ID. Right. So you get a discounted rate. I think the most expensive... Uh, golf courses, Arnold Palmer, like it's 60. I'm not positive. There is a site you can go to, golfthevillages.com, and it'll give you the rates for all the courses. It's it's a great site. I learned a lot just by going out and you know, <laughs> looking at that site. Go have someone to show you around, golf, pickleball. Um, oh, when you make your reservation, we do charge your credit card the full amount at that time so if you want to do this today you will see the 1043 on your card that, that's fine that's fine and you have 48 hours before you get here to change your mind cancel and get a full refund okay and that time of year coming from pennsylvania you never know what the weather is going to be um we're pretty lenient you know if it's within if it's less than 48 hours but the weather's bad and you can't get here then Okay. You know, we'll, we'll give you a refund. As far as limitations now because of the COVID virus and stuff, yeah, um, the golf has never stopped because it's outdoors. Right. Um, pickleball, tennis, everything outdoors has been fine. Every evening, five to nine, we have entertainment at all three town squares. That had stopped for a long time. We just brought it back October the 5th, so you'll be able to have that entertainment. Okay. Some place to go in the evening, uh, meet other villagers and see how they like it here. So we're, we're almost back to normal. The restaurants are, everything's open except the movie theaters. Okay. I, I'm just trying to figure out ahead of time so I don't, I, I mean, I've seen some people on, you know, like some of the YouTube channels that say they're really ticked off because I got down there and they couldn't do anything, not because of COVID, but because they weren't signed up right or they didn't. Oh, um, you know what happens? Um, there are people that rent and they'll get two ID cards with their rental. And then if they invite their friends, they have to go pick up guest passes. So when you sign up for classes, they're going to take the ID cards first because they figure you're either a temporary resident renting or you own a home here. The people that have the guest passes yeah. are going to be the last ones they enroll in classes, and sometimes they don't get in because it's just the the priority given to the residents and the temporary residents. But which would be, yeah. um, th things like something like pickleball, where there's is if there's open courts, um, mm -hmm. so I'll be able to play as much as I want when I get down there, right? Sure. Oh, okay. And right. there's equipment in right. Outside of the courts, there's a little, like a locker room storage area where we have the paddles and the balls. Oh, okay. And then I, I saw somebody say something about get a recreation schedule. Does that make sense? Yes. You can go to our website, thevillages.com, look under the recreation link. You can go see everything in November, what's happening at each of the different uh, recreation centers. Okay, great. That's good. To There's know. also a calendar of like the bands that will be playing every night. Um, that's also going to be under recreation and entertainment. You just kind of have to look around because the website has so much on it. Okay. But for the golf part, I would go to the other website, which is golfthevillages.com. If it was February, which is our most popular month, uh -huh. 
I would say sign up fast <laughs> okay. because there are so many people. But as we're building, we're making more and more golf courses, more and more pickleball courts. So it's getting easier to get on. Okay. Um, it's just a matter of time of year and the number of, of people. There's a, There are enough things to do. You can either participate or, or not, but there's always something going on. Uh, people are friendly. Um, it's easy to to strike up a conversation and, and get to know people. So Okay, okay. great. So would you, if you like it here, would you keep your place in Pennsylvania? You know, nothing's in stone right now. Okay, so, so you're just looking at all your options. Yeah. Okay, stop the tape right here. And as, as Rush Limbaugh used to say, um, we started talking about a bunch of stuff that really wouldn't make any difference to you guys. But then we started talking about um, what the average age is because, uh, you know, I had heard a bunch of different stories and stuff and this is what she starts to get into here. So let's go ahead and continue on. And, and just some, um, some tips here. When you look at the villages as a whole, I mean, we're, we're huge. It started in the Northern part with Spanish Springs town square. I don't know. When people first started moving to the villages and buying, that's that was available just in the Spanish Springs area. And then Lake Sumter came along and now Brownwood in the south. Um, from one end to the other is like about 15 miles from north to south. Yeah. And in the northern part, it is it is quieter. The people are older. They've been here longer. And you go farther south and it, it's weird. You're driving down the road and you, you start to see more people out the farther south you yeah. get. You start to see younger people because all the baby boomers are retiring now. It is. It's a different world in the southern part of the villages. Someday I think it'll balance out, you know, whenever um, the folks that have been here the longest are gone. And then I think younger people will start buying in the northern part. But right now there's definitely a difference between the north and the south, for sure. Um, you know, there's some people that make some... Um they do YouTube channels and I, I also have one too for photography, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I wrote to them and they said, no, 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 no. Down where we are, your age is around 60 or so. Uh, Average age now, and it used to be older, but now it's like 62. Okay. I know you don't know me, but I'm definitely a social person. So, um, mm -hmm. and active. Good. It sounds like you'd fit in. I hope so. <laughs> okay. We have a, uh, an app that you can download before you get here that'll help you um, get around once you're here. Um, just has a lot of good information, though. Are you driving or flying? Driving. You are driving? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll also send you an email with directions. You're basically going to the Brownwood uh, Sales Center to pick up the keys. They'll give you the address where your home is. Now, once someone is assigned, which is going to happen very shortly, they're going to call you just to introduce themselves. And I will ask you this. Do you have a preference, male, female, older, younger? You make you make the decision for me. Okay. But a young and active and knows the villages. Okay. All right. Um, what time do you anticipate arriving? About, but any time after 8 a.m., you can check in here until even after 9, we have a late arrival. So people come and go 24-7. I just have to let the lobby folks know about what time to start looking for you. Oh, um, let's say 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock? Yeah. And then if it changes, the person that calls you that's going to show you around will probably want you to uh, just get in touch the closer you get to the villages. So you'll get that call here and probably tomorrow or the next day when oh. someone is assigned. Okay. Just let me ask you, just in, in your opinion, what's, is there some kind of guidance that, that you would just give in general or you could give to me or? Well, look at the types of homes um, because that's one of the questions they're going to ask you what you're looking for specifically. You're staying in a courtyard villa. They're beautiful. Everybody around you is also going to be on that same visit. So you all are going to be you know, in one area purposely. Lots of restaurants, shopping, anything from fast food to country club dining. 
I, I kept hearing about people saying something about something that they'd pick up at the rec center, a schedule or something like that. You'll get a paper every morning, and in that paper it'll have what's going on that day. If you go to the website, look under recreation and entertainment again, and you'll see the you'll see the schedule. Okay. A couple of different ways to find out what's going on. Uh, the rec centers have different classes and things, um, clubs that get together, and they have they're starting to get together again. I think they do some kind of social distancing, depending on the group that you're in. Write down all your questions so that whenever who calls you, yeah, um, then you can kind of pick their brain. Okay, great. But they're going to be available to you, even if you take the golf cart out and get lost. It's somebody to call to find out, you know, where you are because we're so big. It's it's easy to get, yeah, get I was, lost at first. I was told to get the GPS app, so. Yeah, and that's what, well. I'm going to send that to you here in an email as soon as I make the the reservation. But I think you'll have fun. Okay, and then I, I have one more question for you, and because I'm not I'm not going to ask the salesperson, I'll ask you. Um, okay. The it seems as though there are homes that are listed, and I used to have my real estate license on the MLS that aren't listed at the villages, and then there's villages. No. They're two separate units? I'll give you the short version. Okay. Um, basically, our 250 representatives all are agents that work f directly for the developer. All of our homes that we sell, new homes and pre-owned, are on, uh, instead of the MLS, we call it the VLS because it's Villages Listing Service. And you'll only see those homes on our website, villages.com. Now... We made the decision years ago that any pre-owned home is fair game for outside realtors. So if somebody wants to sell their home and use uh, Remax, for instance, um, you'll see outside realtor signs on homes that are for sale, but only pre-owned. Okay. So if, if you drive by and you see a sign from a, a, an outside company, just tell the person you're working with, and we're all friendly. We just call the agent that has it listed, make arrangements for you, and then do the handoff. Um, but the our people will be able to show you the new homes pre-owned that we have, um, as well as land, if you wanted to go that route. Okay. But that's why we just, they, they can't sell the new homes because they're not trained, but they can come in and sell the pre-owned. So that's why you're going to see the different different signs. But you can come back as many times as you want if you're looking and working with one of the sales reps. Right. Okay. Um, all right. Great. Julie, you've been so much help. Thank you so much. Good. Um, Good. All right. We will see you soon. Have a safe trip. And if you need anything, call me and then just wait for until you get a call from uh, that person that will be assigned to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good night. night. Take care. Bye. Well, there we go. I just actually took a break and went and, uh, went out and played some pickleball and uh, got pretty excited about the phone call. It went easy. As you can see, Julie was pretty easy going. There was a lot of information I cut out there that was her just bantering, her and I bantering back and forth, uh, just friendly stuff. And I hope that maybe you gain some knowledge of that. If you would, go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to be doing a bunch of these until the journey ends. So it could be my trip down there and it'll stop or it could go in the next 10 years. Who knows? Um, anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And go ahead and subscribe. Follow the little guy down below and ring the bell. Whatever you do, hit the like button if you got any, if you made it this far. And ring the top bell so you get notified of uh, all the rest of these that I'm doing. And I believe the next one will probably be um, the phone call whenever they call me or maybe how I got some of the information that I got so far. YouTube channels, articles maybe, or uh, the apps themselves. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you on the next one. Or maybe I'll see you at the villages.